With the new academic year getting underway, education isn't the only thing being spread in the classroom. <coughs> With many schools reporting high levels of absenteeism since the COVID-19 pandemic, health officials are giving parents a refresher course about when to keep sick kids home. An AP analysis of data from 40 states and D.C. shows absenteeism got worse in each state except Arkansas from 2018 to 2022. Many districts continue to report high rates of absences, with parents more cautious about sending their kids to school even when they're feeling slightly ill. The most recent guidance by the CDC calls for the public to treat COVID-19 like the flu or RSV. Some health experts hope it encourages fewer students to miss class, even if they have mild symptoms, including a runny nose, headache, or cough. <laughs> However, the American Academy of Pediatrics says children with fevers should be kept out of school. If they've been fever-free for 24 hours without the use of fever-reducing medications, they're okay to return to class. It's good to stay up on your health and your wellness. Medical experts say the time to take children to the doctor is... If they're starting to sneeze more, cough more, um, be a bit tired, it's important to recognize those signs early, get them seen, and determine if they have um, caught something. Meanwhile, regular exercise, a healthy diet, and plenty of sleep are great strategies to help boost kids' immune systems. Kevin Uretsky, Fox News.